is going on people welcome back johnny here and we are playing some rim world vikings all right these dudes are all frozen because it's only 13 degrees we're cooking we've butchered some and we should probably just go ahead and harvest what we can so we didn't get our rice in the ground soon enough sadly and that means all the trees i was chopping down probably should not be chopped right now <laughs> Go over there and harvest some rice. Let's kick it up a notch. And then... So I've committed to a few more bedrooms and a work area. And some floors to help people get around over here a little bit faster. I don't know, whatever. We need something here. And I don't know how much of that is. This is all going to be wooden. So we're going to deconstruct this exterior wall. And the only issue is here. So I need to just make sure I can build a proper defensive wall on top of a bridge. But the next issue becomes if we get raided by seizures, then we're going to have some bad business because half this base is going to collapse into the water. All right, let's see. The mayor has reported, has reports spotting some neuron nearby. They don't plan on hunting the beast themselves. They're challenging you to hunt it. Should you be successful, you get a following reward. Greg. Oh. Oh, I can see Greg's bio. He's super immune. Tortured artist sucks. Health? Nope. Sorry, Greg. You're a shitty pawn. <laughs> All right, so we do have some bedrooms going here. And this can be somebody's bedroom when it's all done. Ilya can do me a favor and clean this room. Let's check on our prisoners while we're over here. 7.5, 36.6, that's just nuts. We're gonna have to expand our cleaning zone a bit into our new rooms and uh, this little area as well, why not? And okay. Yeah, we're going to need a proper perimeter wall. This barricade is better than nothing, but it's not really going to do us any favors. Look at this shit. That really chaps my ass. Thirdlin, deconstruct that wall. We had a roof collapse. <laughs> well, good thing it didn't hit the dude, because that would have been pretty shitty. And there you go. Beautiful. Now, horse, we need to fix the animal zone, clearly. Clear animals. You lot, don't go over here. And that looks pretty... Oh, no. Expand animal zone. <laughs> they don't have access to their food, man. There you go. Okay, beautiful. Now, I closed off this room. We're going to take one of these apart. And then this can be a work room. Maybe that'll be a good research room. Hmm. I was just going to stick all the work stuff in here. I'm going to forbid this. See, this keeps happening. It's driving me nuts. Hemlock, deconstruct, roof collapse, and build it back, but just allow. There you go. Yeah, so these will be bedrooms. Hopefully there's no trees in the corners. <laughs> Something to be aware of when making proper Viking rooms. Why well, so quiet at night when everybody's sleeping? I should really deconstruct this. I get, oh, I guess it's fire value. It's just steady going up. And what is this? It's items. It's got to be... Either we're doing mining or it's coming in on raids and stuff. We need, like, everything to be made properly here. I went with the Viking vibe just to keep it flowing. I thought it looked cool. What's a hearth take to build? Oh, what's that little radius around it? I have no idea. Uh, light the room and halls acts as a gathering spot for idle colonists. Well, I mean, it's also a bunch of material. Let's just put a fire place right in there or fire right in there i didn't do different floors in these bedrooms these torches don't keep things warm <laughs> not at all we're gonna have to do something everybody's no doubt got slept in the cold i wanted to get research going as a priority so i could get going on some geothermal again bad temp that fire pit, that's slowly coming up. Okay, good. All right, this can be allowed again. They made quick work of all that construction we just did. It is cold as shit. 
No, it's... Oh, he's smoking a dupe. I thought that was their breath I was seeing. What are you working on there? Four simple meals. That's... All right. I have some extra shelves around here somewhere that I didn't take apart, I think. Here. This one's fine. Let's re reinstall this one over here for simple meals. And we need beds. So right now, everybody's in their own little... What do you call it? Barracks? Yeah. Oh. Oh, no, I did it. Okay. So these guys will... Oh, we're going to have to build another dresser in here, too. I just put a bunch of tree chopping jobs in because <laughs> I wanted... Uh, uh, this can go. I wanted the wood to make all this stuff without having to screw around. Double nightstand. I don't think that's necessary. I think it's purely visual, but we'll go with it. And then we need a vent in there. Temperature vent. We have a chem boiler and a hearth. All right, so we should still be re researching geothermal. We are. I don't know if we want to wait that long to get power going. This can be allowed. Did we run out of wood again? No, we did not. Construction level nine. That's fantastic. All right, so River Kid will have a room here. And then we do have these prisoners that are going to join soon. We don't have anybody else coupled up, do we? I should double check that. Did that bed get moved? It's going to belong to Ilyakin and Hemlock. So I think everybody else is flying solo here. The eclipse is ending. I was wondering. Ilyakin and Hemlock. I was wondering why it was so dark out. Yeah, okay, we're golden. Uh, Alright, they're finally getting to taking that thing down too. What was this made out of? This was sheep wool. Do I have any sheep wool? What's this? Muffalo wool. Mm, I mean... It, it's not saying I need warm clothes. I don't. I hate using light leather and plain leather. I don't know why they disgust me so much. <laughs> well, let's just move a bed in there. I know there's somebody sharing a bedroom somewhere here. Yeah, you dudes are all sharing bedrooms. So we'll get Cobra out of here. So let's build a copy of this. And then we'll get Cobra stuff moved. Reinstall. It's always something with this, man. Trying to keep these people happy. I'm going to have to build a fire in one of these rooms, I think. Just to keep the temperature halfway decent. Alright, so this was Ilyakin and Hemlock. Boom and boom. Where's Hemlock? There he is. And that bed was moved, but... Should get snatched up because there's only one person without a bed right now. It should be obvious, actually. You should be able to see an assign on this screen, and you do. Fantastic. Okay, so we are making good progress on the research. Last time I had a double research bench going. It really sped things up dramatically. I think I will. Like, it doesn't cost a lot of material. And I think I'm also going to give them some proper chairs. That'll definitely get things going a little better. I don't mind butchering outside, but what I do mind is everything's so disparate. So we're cooking over here. Oh, this I wanted to put meals on as well. Let's copy that. Paste this. Clear. I want to allow simple meals here. We probably won't end up with any lavish meals. Not that it couldn't happen, but... Is this thing lighting this whole room? Indeed. Fantastic. Okay, let's go check on British Sun. If you were a prisoner, if I was a prisoner, I'd keep my cell really clean, man. Like, nobody wants to live in a mess, right? Except for people in RimWorld. What is this? This is sheep wool. I don't have any more of that. Or else I'd build a second one of those. Yeah, we have too much going on. Then this can be a bedroom. I can, well, the animals are out here. I could put a door down here or something. Or the animals can just go somewhere else. Let's put a torch in that little room. I don't like where I have my makeshift hospital at the minute either. So if we go look at, oh, Ilya Kin, good thing you're in there. Do some cleaning. If we go look at this bedroom. Oh, it's a mess right now. Garrett, uh, clean this room. He's like, I'll do River Kid a little favor and clean up their room. Ah, uh, yeah. These ones should be really nice, right? Awful. What the Sam hell are you talking about? 
No, clean this whole room. How do these get so messy? Clean this room. Is this one nice now? Okay, it's mediocre. Oh, <laughs> uh, is it the material? Okay, what's the beauty on one of these beds? For future reference, if it sucks, they have none. They have no beauty. There's your issue. So I'm making beds that take more materials than a standard double bed, but that offer nothing in return. So that's pretty frustrating. Well, I guess we're going double bed. We can get all these bedrooms. All right, what do we have here? We have 256 dark wood. So why don't we use that stuff up? Wooden double bed. I think 256, we should be able to make three of these. Actually, that's fantastic. I can't believe I wasted all this material over here. It's really disappointing. And then we're just gonna reclaim that material in these rooms once we get these reassigned. All right, and then this, Ilyakin and Hemlock. So first we have to deconstruct, and then we want to reinstall. Yeah, and we get our material back. That's kind of bullshit. I don't like that at all. So now this room is dull, but it's actually messy again. So Hemlock, Ilyakin, so oh boy, just failed, or somebody failed on the construction, so now we can't make three of them. We are making great progress on the research though. Hope we have the wall light mod going, because if not, I'm going to, okay, I do. <laughs> if not, that's getting added next. <laughs> Did we run out of wood? Yeah, they failed if, They failed too many times. That's just fantastic. This one turned out normal. So the beauty on this one, which took less material, is two. Now, it could be that the other one took less wood. I guess we could actually just go look over here and see what we're dealing with. So this one takes 75 of a cloth and 45 wood, whereas the 85 and it's still cheaper and you get the beauty to build yeah we're just building regular beds i really like the look of these viking ones i don't know why they wouldn't be nicer i think they should just have a beauty to match because why would you use it right i've had this issue with building or making things in my own mods and what i always do is i just make it equivalent to core I might just have to scrap these rooms. We don't want to be out on these bridges. I really like this look, though. <laughs> so I'm a little bit torn. What do we have for block? We have plenty of that block, right? Yeah, it's limestone. I also like the way like they kind of st stagger around little sections of block that are more full. It just looks cooler that way. Here, you guys can run out that way. I do need to get focused. So I put this here to see if I can build a structure. So structure, wall, log wall. That's all wood. Never mind. Pla panel wall. What looks the most Viking? A cargo wall. Really nothing. Ornate. Stone. Uh, maybe King Styles often found in medieval ruins. Perfect. Can I build that on there? All right, well, that answers that. <laughs> so I can't do walls on bridges. I think you used to be able to do that. Maybe you can do it with a wooden wall or something. Yeah, there's your issue. So you can do that for whatever it's worth, which isn't much right now. <laughs> and these dudes are making quick work of all that food. Oh, we have a baby muffalo now. Nice. Okay, let's put this over here. And the chair that goes with it. That can get out of there. Yeah, this room can just be shrunk down a bit, it looks like. But yeah, I'm going to have to rework all this shit. I don't really want to do that. I'm trying to hold off on making power until we can make proper geothermal. Because there's just vents everywhere. There's three over here. It's a little bit further away than I'd like it to be, but whatever. It's totally cool. I'm also tempted just to get rid of the statue. So items have gone down. Creatures has gone up because we got a baby muffalo. Somebody's starving. 
I didn't want to see that. We were like completely out of food. <laughs> All right, man. There's got to be something dead laying around. There's always something dead laying around. Other than humans. Here, we're definitely going to hunt these goats. This guy's good to go. We're going to be eating raw meat. You know, the pawns, I complain about the fact that they're not happy all the time. But they'd probably be a little... Those all look like they're leaving the map. They're all heading the same direction. I guess they're not. Anyway, I complain about how crabby they are. And then I go and not feed them for a while. So, like, I don't know what I expected. There's a lot of dead critters around. And a handful of dead people, too. <laughs> <laughs> all the there's no like massive predators really relative to that last map we were on oh okay there's a is that a coyote or a wolf it's a coyote i like that they howl i think they're just using the wolf howls okay there are some predators but not like the last map where it was like mega wolverine and bear city there's a warg anytime i say there's no predators then i see more and more predators around so I think I need to rework this. Son of a bitch. I, I think I'll just move the whole Great Hall somewhere else. And this is all going to be on water, right? Yeah, bridge, bridge, bridge. Cook, spill complete. That shouldn't be complete. Definitely shouldn't be complete. Uh, and let's do it 10 more times. Ah, God, I got totally boned. All right, we have ram revenge. Are you gonna? Who's shooting at this ram? Oh, Freris and he's down there. These all pissed off? No, I think it's just this one. Oh, you better boogie, dude. You're going to get your ass kicked. Uh, run, fool! Whoa, he just got damn lucky there. Too heavy. Nowhere to put it. We're going to have to go expand this zone. I know I left some space over here. And where the heck was it? Freris in. There he is. Get that hauled. Fantastic. Uh, this zone is filled up. We should cut the plants out of there at the very least. We should actually just start building our walls. It's probably going to be the wise thing. I just don't know what to do with this mess. I hate that there was water here. <laughs> that drives me nuts. That's why I'm being lazy about it. All right. There you go. So we'll have a cooking and food storage area. We'll be doing our butchering over here. I'm going to have to add a doorway over here to get in there from that side. So I'll probably forbid this outside door most of the time. I did notice these floors are hyper flammable. <laughs> There's a solar flare, which we have not built any power yet. So I guess it means nothing to me at the minute. And we're busy moving some supplies. I did notice there's some precedents for using stone. And those look pretty cool. They fit. So... Yeah, we could do something like that. Uh, we've made all those simple meals again. You know what? That means we've gone through 40 simple meals. We only have 10 around. <laughs> That's not cool, man. We are about halfway done with our research. And an Arctic coyote is hunting calf one for food. Uh, you say, where's calf one? I might have to build a proper barn here. Is this calf one? Must be, right? Even though it says Muffalo Calf 1, I think that's... Let's go over here. We should be able to handle this issue. And attack. But I want you dudes just to stand over here. Alright, there you go. Finish it off. Done deal. Here, you go ahead and take care of that. It's not haunting us anymore, I can tell you that. <laughs> now he's riding with Thor in a chariot in Asgard somewhere. Ferris and late to the party. We so we need more space. <laughs> like this It seemed like we had plenty. What's going on down here? We have an injured pig. Somebody go kill that pig. That looks like some delicious hog we could be eating tomorrow. I'm not enthused with this room. I guess it's fine. These fires do a pretty decent job. We're getting some happiness over here. And do we have wood? We have over a thousand woods. So I don't know why they didn't actually build it all. Oh, the solar flare is ending. That's nice. All right, good. So let's, where's my constructor? Are you a constructor? If I say deconstruct, 
What are you doing? You're hauling shit. Come over here and deconstruct and then reinstall this bed. And then you can actually sleep in it yourself. So work on the double bed. And dirtling. There he is. Yeah, we need like a thousand things done. Per usual in RimWorld, we are butchering that fox. I'm going to keep them putting the meat over here for now. We'll move those shelves in here when we get our cook table put over here. You know, it's probably also better to put this over here. I don't mind keeping like a little recreation room over here. I think that's just fine. I could make beds out of stone, but I don't know how much effort this perimeter wall is going to take. That's why I've been hesitant to do that. I also just put in all these floors to make it look interesting. I mean, it also helps them walk around, but I didn't, uh, I probably didn't need to do that right away. <laughs> it's cool. So I'll let it cruise a little bit. We'll see what we can get done. And maybe I'll set some more beds up, get some other stuff going. This is going to be like the common hangout hall area over here. All right. So now, oh shit, Ilya Kin. Where is the critter that is being hunted down there? Do you have anybody else around? All right, you come here. You have a really nice gun. You kill that. You get ready. It's gonna come around that corner any second. Arctic Coyote Revenge, and it's down. Garrett, finish it off. Done deal. All right, so once again, the predators are getting to be a bit out of hand. I could just go hunt them all, but I'm not going to be happy when these hyper flammable wooden floors burn and burn up most of my food. Let's go double check what that is for flammability. 22%. Well, what's regular flammability? I have no idea. What's the tell on this thing? 100%. Okay, well, that doesn't. The description doesn't add up to. <laughs> what the reality is apparently but that's all right it wouldn't be bad to have a hospital over here somewhere either in fact it'd be a really good thing i like to keep my hospitals right in the center of everything There's just not a lot of room to build with these, this water on both sides and me trying to avoid it i guess we could go down some but i like having the stone wall sort of the first bastion people encounter when they enter our base or our future base Cheers to the patrons, Arcus Invictus, Ilya Ermakov, Zazzle, Hemlock, Mike Ferrero, Natazil, Dimitri Rurikid, Garrett, Chu, Andis, Excelsior, Thauvern, Josh Gray, Shiggy, Cobra, Samurai, Viking, Brandon, Tyronix, Typhios, Dapper, Go, Alexander, Henry Wallace, Michael Rakestraw, Dirtle Dave, and Corneo Boater. You guys are awesome. Yeah, definitely a proper barn is going to be in order too. Well, next time we'll get all this building done. I don't know. I would like to just get out on the world map because in the spring we're going to have to leave anyway. So I think when we're done with this research, we're going to see if we can't get hydroponics done so that next time we can set up, it'll be winter, but we can start growing vegetables right away. And that'll be useful. I don't know how you do the end game. Like if you go to the ship and try and fly away, how do you get out of there without everybody being crabby as shit for a year? I guess you have to be ready, but it generally takes a little while to build a base. So here, this is an art bench. This can go over here. Build a copy of this over there because there's going to be something else there. This is going to be a cramped room probably. It says decent. Can we can we get that? Oh, never mind. They just haven't got to it yet. That tree is there. No one wants to chop it out. We are getting some more granite here. That's nice. Yeah, we've made good progress. We haven't had any really threatening raids god we're out of that again how are the meals going these people eat like freaking piranhas man you don't really realize how many meals you're making i'm only doing that because i want to make sure we have material and as soon as we ooh, goat delicious what's that that's a human not delicious <laughs> in fact disturbing RimWorld, you sick son of a bitch. We could also do some deconstruction out here for more material. What are those? Yaks. 5% chance. If you have a gun that shoots lots of round, 5% is 100. So, 
bear that in mind. We've discovered that in previous playthroughs. There's a bunch of muffalo we could eat. What's the chance a muffalo is going to attack us? 2%. All right, we'll do it. If that whole herd snaps on us. Ooh, caribou. Caribou at 2% as well. If that whole herd snaps on us, we're going to be in big trouble. But it's just a risk we're going to have to take right now. And hopefully our own muffalo don't see us killing those muffalo. Let's clear our animal zone before I forget as well. You guys don't go in here. Looks like it's over here. Good. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Please leave a like if you're enjoying. Leave a comment. I do respond. Um, I'm going to keep all these torches burning around for now. I think it's cool. I might have some... Oh, Garrett and Henry. Freaking fantastic. Where are you two bedded down at? Dirtlin, Garrett, and Henry. Fantastic. So we have an empty bedroom somewhere. Don't know where. Over here. Let's put Ferrerson in here so he at least has his own bedroom. And this bed I'm just going to deconstruct. Eh, let's not do that. We shouldn't do that right now. We might need that. Because we have a lot of construction going on. I am going to go ahead and deconstruct all these barricades. I don't like sending people into the water to do it. But that's where I'm at right now. I don't want these bridges over here either. Floors. Structure. I always have a hard time finding bridges. <laughs> Muffalo revenge. Yo. yo. Oh, it's only one. You better get your ass out of there. This one is ready to be finished off. Ilyakin. Hemlock. Run. Run, dummy. All right. He's down. Somebody get him brought in. <laughs> That's it, guys. Thank you much for watching. I'll see you next time.